Hey guys, I'm Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some Dollar Tree DIYs for spring. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this first one, I grabbed this Dollar Tree basket and I know it's green, but this <laughs> was one of the only ones I could find. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it with this chiffon chalk paint. So I took it outside and spray painted it front and back. Now what I'm gonna do is put that to the side and I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree sign and remove the middle part that says moon and I'm gonna use that to put inside of the basket. And I will be using the back since the front has a lot of glitter on it. So the inspiration for this came from the tobacco chipwood baskets that you see you know, at the Hobby Lobby stores or Pinterest and they have a cute little sign with flowers in there. So I wanted to do something like that for this DIY. I sanded that down a little bit and now I'm just taking some white apple barrel paint and lightly going over the back and making sure I don't cover up all of that brown part because I want it to look um, a little rustic looking. So once that dried, I'm taking these Dollar Tree poster stickers and I'm going to spell out spring. The spring sign is going to go inside the basket right here, but before I actually glue it down, I'm going to start adding some of these Dollar Tree flowers. As you can see, it has like pink stems and greenery on it. I don't really know how to pronounce the name of this flower, but I'm gonna start just adding them on there, kind of trying to see where to put them at, and then I'll start gluing it down. I haven't glued any of this down yet. I just kind of tried to see where I wanted to put everything at, and then I slowly start to glue it in different places. I also set it up like this because since I'm gonna have the pink flowers kind of hanging down. I wanted to see how that was going to look exactly. Lastly, I decided to add these white Dollar Tree flowers. So I started to cut off pieces of that and kind of placing them all around and then I will glue them down as well. Once I have the flowers glued down the way I wanted, I went ahead and added the spring sign to the back. I'm just making sure it's glued down to the basket well. Also, sorry I couldn't show every part or detail of me placing the flowers and gluing them down. It's just kind of hard to show every clip of that because it did take me a really long time to figure that out. And I just took my time with it. It would take forever for me to show that to y'all. But I hope you get the idea of the placement of the flowers. For the second DIY, I am taking these canvases from Dollar Tree. I actually just used these exact four in my last one when I made that home sign. So these are so good to use because the frame is made out of wood and I love that even though it is a little time consuming to take off the staples, but the end result of the wood frame is nice. Just like my last DIY, I start to use this tool to remove the canvas but it's kind of pointless to do this because I ended up removing the staples anyway with um, a butter knife for a knife. But I didn't need to do this part because all I did was stick my knife under the staple and then pop those out. And then the canvas, of course, comes off after that. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, I am making a lantern out of these canvases, which I know you guys have seen before all over YouTube. It's really simple. You just have to glue these four frames together but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, which I'm about to show you. But all I did was take some Minwax stain and stain all four of the frames first. Once I was done with that, I take a paper towel and I rubbed off all of the excess stain. And to give the lantern a more detailed look, I'm going to be taking this Dollar Tree fence. And I'm going to figure out the placement of this now. And then I will cut it with my stem cutters to fit on two of the frames. For this one, I'm kind of experimenting to see exactly how much of the fence I need to cut to glue on to the frames. And then once I figure that out, then I will use that as a template to cut out the second one. 
the material of the fence is really easy to cut through of course i'm not using the right tool i'm just using my stem cutters because this is what i had i did try to use my scissors um, but it won't cut through with those Now that I have one, I'm going to copy the same one and use it as a template and cut out the second one. I'm taking my hot glue gun to start gluing that down to the frame. And I'm also going to check to see if I need to cut anything extra off, like this part. If it's sticking out, just cut that off. Also, you guys, you can definitely stain this or paint the frame a different color if you want, maybe white to make it look more spring-like. I also had an idea to paint the black part of this, you know, the fence part to my lantern white or maybe whitewash it. Um, that might give it a more spring farmhouse look. It's totally up to you. If you think this black is too dark for spring, you can definitely paint it. I'm just using hot glue to glue the four frames together to create my lantern. You could use a more heavy duty glue like wood glue. Also as you can see the reason why I didn't add the black part of the fence to all four frames is because I wouldn't be able to glue them together because that would be in the way. Um, so you can tweak this to the way you want. Uh, maybe you want a different part of the fence inside of the frames to give it a different look. You know. It's all up to you. This is just an idea of what I thought would look nice. For the last DIY, I saved a piece of canvas from one of the frames and I'm going to make a sign out of it. I'm taking some Dollar Tree craft sticks. I think these are the biggest ones they have and I'm going to use them as the top and bottom part of the sign. And I was just kind of trying to measure out to see how big I needed them but either way I needed to cut the edges off. And then once I cut the ends off, I just sanded that down real quick. Now I'm taking the piece of canvas and cutting it out. I do end up having to use a ruler just to make sure the lines were somewhat straight. Taking the same stain, I'm just going to stain the two crab sticks. I'm going to spell out bloom on the bottom of this sign and I'm taking these Walmart poster letters I believe that's what they are um, these were really cheap they were a little over a dollar um, I think these were perfect for this Using one of those Dollar Tree stems, I'm just taking the greenery from that and gluing that on here. And I added twine to it so you can hang it up somewhere if you want. It looks really cute on a ladder as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of my DIYs today. So excited to get ready for spring. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.